Okay, it's time now to get an update on the business news. For that, I'm joined in studio by Yuka Royer. And Yuka, we're going to start with what is also one of our main stories, this China-Africa summit. President Xi Jinping expected to use the event to push back against criticism that his economic plan isn't a great thing for all African countries. Well, Eve, the last summit held in South Africa three years ago saw China announcing some $60 billion in aid and loans for Africa. And there's increasing criticism that Beijing is loading many countries with debt they will struggle to repay with an aim to control vital assets such as oil and gas. President Xi Jinping says there are no strings attached to the Chinese loans and that they're meant to help the continent's development. Let's take a listen to some of the African leaders attending the summit. We want to create employment in South Africa. We want to address our critical challenges of uh, um, uh, poverty and underdevelopment uh, therefore becomes critical that uh, trade is uh, underpinned also by uh, sustainable investment. It's very important for Rwanda, it's important for the rest of Africa. Uh, we, we are working with China uh, in the area of mining, uh, particularly for Rwanda in the exploration phase. Uh, we are using Chinese expertise and so there, there are many many uh, very good things happening in terms of uh, economic cooperation, in terms of uh, boosting our agriculture, um, and, but most importantly in the, um, in the um, uh, infrastructure sector. Now China is now the continent's biggest trading partner with total exchanges amounting to $170 billion last year. And there's a push to replace the dollar with the yuan. Nigeria's central bank has been encouraging businesses to use the Chinese currency more after agreeing a $2.5 billion currency swap with Beijing. Our correspondents in Nigeria have sent us this report. Behind this red fortress is Lagos's Chinatown. The dozens of wholesalers with shops here mainly import textiles. Lulu's overseen the marketplace since it opened in 2005. For Chinatown traders, business has never been better since transactions are now possible in both yens and nairas. This measure is all anyone can talk about at the moment within our community in Lagos, because we are aware that this will be beneficial and very useful to everyone. It's going to facilitate ties between our two economies. For us Chinese here, and for Nigerians there in China, it will be easier, faster, and more convenient to place our orders and get what we need. Funmi Komolafe is checking her order that's arrived from China. She sells children's clothes, and to increase her profits, she looked into trading in yens. Three Nigerian banks offered the service, but she found the procedures put in place by the central bank too cumbersome. You have to apply for a Form M, you have to bring an invoice from there. It has to be good, that some a tool that they approve of before you can bring it. So that way, it is not of immense benefit to people in the informal sector. The National Association of Nigerian Traders strongly backed the currency agreement. For them, it means more electronic transactions between China and Nigeria and better quality control of Chinese imports. So standard goods are getting too much. We need to make sure that adulterated goods, fake goods, do not have their ways into this country again. Nigeria-China trade has grown exponentially over the last few decades, but as Nigerian companies still struggle to find suppliers locally, trade relations remain disproportionately in favour of China. Let's take a look at the markets now. Here in Europe, a mixed picture at the open with London's FTSE up, but that's um, largely due to a decline in the British pound. Paris and Frankfurt opening in the red, as you can see there. Over in Asia, it was red across the board as the US-China trade spot weighs on investor sentiment. The Trump administration uh, may impose new tariffs on some $200 billion worth of Chinese goods as early as this week. And finally from me, a fish store in Kuwait has reportedly been shut down by authorities after it was caught sticking googly eyes on fish to make them look fresher. The Al Baya newspaper posted images of one such fish on Twitter, setting off a social media frenzy with reactions. Most people, though, uh, found, didn't seem to find the trick very convincing. 
though very creative. How about you, Eve? Well, yeah, I actually saw that uh, last night after having fish for tea. <laughs> so while I didn't find it convincing, it still didn't make me feel great. Uh, Yugoroi, thanks a lot for that business.